Hello, my name is Barry and I'm an engineer dedicated to the welding and the cutting industry. Throughout my career, I've worked on some of the best and the worst welding and cutting equipment on the planet. Today, we're going to take a very special trip to a company in Yorkshire that puts a whole new meaning to Made in Britain. Today we're in Yorkshire and we're going to be having a look at the TechServe CNC Blue Marlin, which is red. This machine is a machine that's been developed over a timescale of 15 years with its own software, engineering ingenuity, things that are cut in-house. It makes to be one of the best machines you might be able to get your hands on. TechServe Engineering are an engineering company and have been for many, many years. This is one of their flagship machines and it's designed around its very own in-house made software. It's not software that's bought off the shelf or that's been found on another profiler system. It's software that's been developed by users, for users. Let's take a look how the machine's put together. And almost everything that is needed is built and made here at TechServe. All the raw materials are bought in and then everything is produced. And it all starts here with their very own water jet cutter. So what you can see is the internals of the machine where all the motion control gets taken care of. And it's a very, very tidy affair. All the cabling's done nice. We, we see some very nice screen cables down here. That's to make sure that we don't get switching interference talking across the drives. We've got our three Omron drives here, which is our, our drive amplifiers, which sends the signals once they've been amplified from the ABB Next Move controller out to the motors on the three axes that we have. All the software is controlled here by this small Dell computer, quite a powerful but small Dell computer. A power supply, a few interface relays, some switches and trips, and that's about it. It's not really a dark art if you get it right, like the guys here at TechServe. So while nobody's about, I've just taken a panel off so we can have a look inside. And one of the things I really, really like about how the machine's put together is the drive for the axes is done via rack and pinion. And in the olden days, and you can see this on a lot of other profile machines, the tension of the motor is applied to the rack by a spring and a tension arm and some guy in the assembly shop ratcheting that up, putting tension and applying the pressure from the motor to the rack and pinion drive. Not here at TechServe. They do it in a completely different style and they use a pneumatic air ramp and they use a slide which applies pressure to the motor. Once that the air is applied to the machine, the motor is then pushed against the rack and pinion. And the good thing about that is no matter how you set up your machine, once you apply your air and once you know what pressure you need to set those pressure rams to, the machine is always going to be the same. That reduces wear on the motors, that reduces wear on the rack and pinion drives, meaning that service costs are much less in the future. There's just so much to love about the TechServe CNC machine. This aluminium, as you can see, it's, it's used by engineering and machine building companies worldwide. It's normally sourced in Germany. Very expensive but it's very light. Because it's very light, it's very dynamic when coupled up to the rest of the technology on this machine. Because we use this aluminium extrusion and because it's so lightweight, it means that we can drive the machine with smaller motors. Because we can drive the machine with slightly smaller motors, the dynamic and the speed and the efficiency of those motors is much, much better than using an oversized motor. Because we're using smaller motors and we've got a better dynamic of a machine, let, let me just show you what I mean here. 
we have an ultra smooth running machine because it's smooth when it's coupled up to something like the HPR from Hypertherm or other manufacturers of, of plasma if you so need to the machine can produce an extremely precise cut so silly things like all this this is produced here in-house just just a simple bracket which doesn't have to be milled or or bought in all these all these little things look all this all all the holes can you see all these holes here have been produced on the water jet cutting machine here on site. That's an extremely precise hole. That's all produced on the water jet cutting machine with the CNC software that's made here in house at TechServe CNC. That's made here. Some aluminium, some extremely strong magnets, and some locating cones. I like this bit. that bit comes off too and it's got a locating pin so when the torch is disconnected from its brake off holder which is magnetic the machine can't fire because this this switch here is telling the machine and the controller that the torch is off it could be in somebody's hand I don't know if you can see that small orange light there just just by my finger that, that's a proxister that's now giving the machine a signal to tell us that this is in place watch the light go out that light now has gone out meaning that the signal is not going to the machine and the machine will stop the machine will not cut because the machine knows that there's a possibility this has been smashed or somebody's taken it off. All the inbuilt features of this software just keep on evolving as TechServe CNC customers call in or pass a comment or say, we could do with the software to do this. Well, TechServe then deliver those requests to the customer. There you go, Bart Simpson on the CNC. Let's have a little bit of a recap uh, of what we've seen so far down here. Their own in-house water jet cutting system, which runs on the TechServe CNC produced software, which again, let's, let's, let's walk over. TechServe CNC cutting software combined with a water jet cutting machine produced here in-house by TechSurf CNC gives us incredibly accurate precision cut parts and we do that making the most of the material that we buy in even down to the fabrication all produced here in-house at TechSurf